Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Apologies first and foremost for the amount of sweat that I end up getting by the end of this video because I am filming in an attic room with no fan and the window shut and I am already feeling the heat. Like it is so hot today. It is currently 33 degrees, so literally bear with me on this one. But today I thought I would give you an and other stories haul because collectively between them gifting me a couple of pieces and me buying quite a lot of this rail, I've kind of accumulated quite a good summer wardrobe from them and I thought I would share it with you because you know I'm all about the kind of basic capsule wardrobe wardrobe kind of style and I feel like all of this kind of encompasses my summer capsule wardrobe which I will leave a link to that video down below because that kind of features similar pieces to a lot of this and actually some of these have like replaced old bits that maybe I had in the last video so definitely worth having a look at but this is a collection of obviously everything as I just said and I'm going to go ahead and jump straight in at the beginning because there is a lot on this rail some of this is already featured kind of heavily on Instagram and YouTube and that kind of thing because I did wear them in Venice and Amalfi but I just wanted to share them in a haul video because because you may not have seen the Venice and Amalfi videos or you may just kind of you know want to have a little look at a haul video or you might be new to my channel who knows but anyway I'm going to jump straight in with this which is actually my favorite thing on this entire rail so this is a really gorgeous midi length dress with the little puff sleeves honestly I never ever in a million years thought I ever would have owned a dress like this and I'm so obsessed with it. It's gorgeous polka dots, it's got really really cute little sleeves here. I actually wore this for a picture that me and Sam did quite recently because I wore it out for the day and absolutely loved it. Looks amazing with little trainers or like loafers or whatever it is you choose to wear it with but honestly the nicest dress for styling from day to night. Like I could wear this all day with some trainers, chuck on some espadrilles and wear it out in the evening as well. Like this is definitely a going to dinner kind of dress for me. And it does retail at 85 pounds, which is kind of on the steeper end of a price range for the high street. However, definitely one that's worth investing in because I think if you can pay 85 pounds for a dress like that, where it's really classic, it will last for a few years and it's just a really gorgeous piece. Like I'm probably still gonna be wearing that in five years time and it will still be just as much of a summer staple for me. Providing I stay the same dress size, of course, and my boobs don't grow or anything like that because it fits me perfectly right now. Can't guarantee it will in five years time, but let's hope. Um, moving on, we have a t-shirt, which I've actually recently become kind of, I wanna say invested in the and other stories t-shirts because i never really bought from them before and i met with one of my friends lorna the other week and she actually really recommended their t-shirts she said they're great quality and she really loves the basics from there so i thought you know what i'm gonna give it a try i'm gonna see what i think and see kind of what the quality is like so i picked up this one which just says amour des vacances no that's not how you say it amour des vacances um, holiday romance in French and it's this really gorgeous navy blue colour. I loved the font, I love the colour. Don't really own anything in navy blue so I thought that was kind of a good place to start and this will just look really nice all over the summer in various different outfit options. Um, you really can't go wrong with kind of basic t-shirts and this one was £23 which is a little bit steep for a t-shirt but it's organic cotton so you're kind of paying for that I guess um, but I really really like it I think it's going to be one that gets bought out quite a lot over the next couple of months as you can see it has just come in by having the tag still on um, this I just couldn't wait to get on when I first got it then we have a jumper which I actually bought in their sale recently so this only cost me I think 30 pounds reduced from about 70 and it's this really gorgeous like chunky knit I actually wore it the other day really stupidly with some shorts because I thought you know what I'm not wearing a coat I'm not wearing like something heavy I'll just chuck this on with shorts and I'll be really like a good temperature I was so wrong, it was too hot. This is gonna have to stay in the cupboard for a few more months, but I just really liked it. I thought it was a really gorgeous little knit and it's really soft. It's really kind of just the perfect chunky knit. Like I feel like everyone needs like a chunky knit. I've said chunky a lot of times in the last couple of minutes, but you really need that kind of chunky knit that just goes with everything. And it's also slightly cropped, which I really liked because when you're wearing high-waisted jeans or like a midi skirt or you're wearing that over like a dress or something, it's just a really great way of like layering without having like a massive oversized knit on. Then we have these jeans, which did actually feature in a couple of other videos already, but I wanted to bring them back to this video because I don't think I featured them when I did a haul recently. So these are just the bias cut jeans, super flattering on, really, really comfortable. And to be honest, probably the best denim I actually own. Like I am such a sucker for finding really investment denim. This is definitely one of them. So I think I'm gonna be going back to and other stories for like a black and a blue pair because you really can't go wrong with having like your staple three colors in the denim collection. And I wear these a lot. Um, as a heads up, because they are bias cut, I did size up by two, which I think I actually may have included these in a haul video now I'm thinking about it. But I definitely sized up by two because they were just a lot better fit. And I wanted something that was a bit more slouchy because if there's no stretch in them and I wash them and I shrink them, I still wanna be able to wear them. Um, but I definitely think I might have featured in the video previously. <laughs> Then moving on, we have this jumpsuit, which I'm just going to button up quickly because I want you to see it in its like full glory. 
Um, so this is the most cute little thing you ever did see. And it's just this really cute little safari style jumpsuit, which is a super boxy fit, really, really cute, oversized, perfect for in the heat. And to be honest, one of my most worn things when I was in Italy, because it's just so lightweight and comfortable. Um, I actually did wear it with a belt around it a couple of days just to kind of like cinch the waist in. I wore it with my little rope sandals, but you could kind of wear this like open with a nice little lace bralette underneath and, like some heels or something. I guess it just depends on the kind of location that you're in um but i really love this i just think it's so nice and i genuinely don't own anything like it which i think is a great place to start on this kind of thing like it's an investment jumpsuit it's like an investment play suit that i'm 100 percent gonna have for years but it's something i never necessarily would have thought that i needed to fit in my wardrobe if that makes sense but really really cute and honestly like one of the best things i've ever bought then moving on we have these shorts which i bought as kind of like an ode to the 70s i thought they were adorable um i I'm a sucker for denim shorts. I feel like I've mentioned this a few times. I really struggle to find good ones. When I do, I am obsessed. Um, so these are just like really classic pocket front shorts. They also come in blue and I think red, but I can't remember. But I just went for this gorgeous cream. They've got the really nice kind of classic button fly there and these two little pockets on the front, which are just so, so cute. And then on the back, they're just kind of playing with the little darts. But they're a really flattering fit and they really remind me of kind of the styles that my dad used to wear when he was younger. Like all the pictures of him and his sister and his brother when he was little, like it reminds me of their kind of little outfits when they used to have like little shirts and little shorts and like long socks and stuff. So that was kind of like me being like, oh, it's really cute. My dad used to wear things like this, which is a bit creepy now I'm thinking about it. But at the time it was kind of like one of the things that made me like, do you know what? These are really cute and I want them. Um, they're also nothing like anything I already own. So that's again, a good place to start. Shorts that are an investment and they're a little bit different than just your average denim short. By the way, I cannot remember the price for the things that I have not mentioned the price of because there is no tags left. So I'll leave all the links in the description for you and you can kind of shop away. But I believe the cheapest thing on here was, I want to say £20 going upwards. Um, I'm not sure like the highest price point, but they were all kind of in excess of that. Then I got this t-shirt, which is honestly like the coolest thing ever so it's a miami vice t-shirt and it's just got this gorgeous big print across the front i kind of love the fact this is like a whole like bam in the middle of the t-shirt and it's black and white i just think it's really classic and also i love a graphic tee as much as the next person but i don't really own one like this so this has been coming out a lot really liking it easy to style so i actually sized up by two in this and i just wanted that really big slouchy fit which is why i did so otherwise it obviously would have been a bit tighter but i just kind of love the fact this is a huge fit and I think it kind of goes with the print as well because you want it to be as like big and statement as possible. Then we have this wrap dress, which is single-handedly taking over my summer wardrobe. I am so in love with this. It is honestly, it's just the easiest thing in the world to style and it looks great with absolutely everything. So I've been wearing this to all kinds of occasions. I wore it in a mouthy, I wore it to dinner, I wear it with espadrilles, with sneakers, like literally anything. And it's just a dream. And the fact that it is white linen and a wrap dress that not only is linen and obviously sustainable fabric, however, it's also a wrap dress that's good for people with small boobs and for short girls, because I am only like five foot three, five foot four, and this fits me at the perfect length. Like normally, I find wrap dresses are quite long or like they're really booby, and this just fits me great. Like the proportions of it are really nice and it's just a really cute little dress and I don't want much more to say because every time I talk in hauls, people always pick up on the things that I recurringly say about each item. So I'm trying to avoid like saying too much about each one. Um, then moving on we have this which is a really cute little kind of bodysuit now I guess you could say this is underwear but I kind of wear it as outerwear with like a nice cardigan and some jeans or whatever um, this looked great in a mouthy with some denim shorts and it's just a really cute little delicate lace number with the satin slightly see-through on the boobs if you just wear little nipple covers it's fine but um, I just really like it it's a really really cute little style it's got the really nice lace detailing on the back and to be honest, it's just the perfect thing to slip underneath something. So if you're wanting like a dress or something that's quite low cut to just have like a peep of lace, this is a really great alternative because obviously it's like a full body suit. So you're not reeling like a whole bra, but it's got a nice subtle detail and the color's beautiful as well. Then we have a skirt, which I actually do own a cream skirt from And Other Stories already, but I picked this one up because it's more of a straight hem because the other one's kind of like an A-line and 
it's a little bit longer and wider and asymmetric and stuff and I just wanted one that was literally like a straight up and down denim skirt so this is a gorgeous like creamy off-white same color as all the other kind of pieces on here denim wise which apparently is a recurring theme this year for me um great length again on short girls this was 45 pounds which is a really great price for like for good quality denim and I'm loving it um I got it true to size and it's definitely something that's going to be worn a lot in the future I have only just got it which is why it's still got the tag on but this just is the perfect thing to have with like jumpers, with t-shirts, with slouchy like shirts and stuff. Honestly, so many outfit options and it's the kind of thing that's a really great transitional piece through to um, autumn as well. And then last but not least, we have this chunky jumper, which I'm in two minds about whether to keep. And I'll show you why when I put it on in a couple of seconds for the try on. But this is a really lovely jumper. I like the fact it's got the giant turn ups with the little stripe detailing. I love the deep v-neck. Um, it is only £59, which for a knit is a really good price. But the only problem is I got this in a medium because I bought it in the summer sale and my intention was to wear it like really oversized, which in hindsight is a great idea. However, when I actually got it, it's maybe a little bit too oversized, which I'm going to show you in the trial. Let me know in the comments what you think. But I think with jeans or like cycle shorts or whatever, it will look really, really cute or even just as like a gym outfit kind of thing. Because as much as I want to say that I'll wear this on a regular basis out, I also wear like jumpers and stuff to the gym if it's not really cold, but it's not warm, like if that makes sense. So if I'm going to like a late yoga class or something, I'll just wear one home. Um, but it's a really gorgeous jumper. So I'm in two minds about whether to keep it or take it back because the returns end in, end in a few days. But let me know in the comments what you think. Um, also, would love to know your opinion on kind of all of these pieces and how you would style them because I think it's really interesting to kind of understand how you guys would style stuff because I think as much as I ramble on about how I would wear things, sometimes you guys come up with really, really good ideas or like certain things that you've maybe seen on my Instagram that I could wear them with or that kind of thing. But that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this, guys. It's been a while since I did a haul, so I thought I'd come back with a bang and give you kind of a giant and other stories one. But if you like my hauls, let me know. If you have any video ideas you want me to do, let me know. If you are a kind of long-term subscriber, you will notice, or you may not have noticed actually, but the weekly vlogs are back. So if you are into my weekly vlogs, or you used to be when I did them about a year ago, please go head over and check that out because I've got a kind of new style happening and a whole new kind of life since I last did them. So it'd be really interesting to kind of hear your thoughts on that. Um, and for you guys to kind of see properly where I'm at in life because I literally have not vlogged since before I lived in my old house actually, like I haven't weekly vlogged since like this time last year. So a lot has changed, a lot has happened, things are different. Um, but yeah, I'd really enjoy it if you check that out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.